Hey y'all, what's going on? Hopefully the noise isn't too bad. I'm right near a road, um, but I'm out today at Ridley Creek. I don't fish this creek a lot. Um, I haven't fished it actually in nine years, but when I was a kid, I used to fish and it was pretty good. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna get on today. Thinking probably some panfish, maybe some smallmouth, uh, maybe some catfish or carp, who knows. So we'll just see where the day takes us. Hopefully y'all enjoy. All right, y'all, we're gonna start fishing here right next to this major road. Um, but I got my 164 ounce jig head and the caddis fly from Nico. Started with this lure because it's a little bigger uh, and it'll hopefully get the attention of some bass if we see any. So we'll see what we can get into. What did we catch? The first fish of the day is a rock bass. I love that. So that's a nice little chunker. Buddy, I'm gonna let you go. It's been caught before. So, uh, it seems like this crick gets a little, it's fished. It's a good size. Looks like a healthy guy. See you later, bud. We are on the board. We are on the board. All right, y'all, here's the deal. I just spooled my uh, my reel and I got a little tangled there. So I actually had to cut it. And when I cut it, I decided to switch to the Nico Helgramite. Cut this thing down a little bit. It's a little bigger. I think it's around three inches. I cut it down to about two. That works a little better for me. And uh, we'll see how it does with the bass. Had a lot of success last year with this lure and the smallmouth, so we'll see. I gotta catch a bass. I'm good at bass fishing, I swear. <laughs> well, it's a bass, but I was hoping to get on a large mouth or small mouth, but I'll definitely take a rocky. Very very underrated fish here. Love these guys, they're rock bass. Beautiful little fish. See you later, bud. And this lure is like candy to the rock bass. They love this thing. This is the best rock bass lure. For I'm talking for big rock bass. The big rock bass, I've caught so many trophy sized rock bass on this lure. Oh, that one got hit the second hit the water. Good hit. See? Told you all the rock bass love it. Tons of rock, rock bass are actually a sign of a healthy crick. So good to see these guys. He's just a little one. Bye, bud. I think he hit a couple times or guys are super aggressive though. Like a, another rock bass. I'm just slaying them. I've been here for like five minutes. <sighs> All around the same size. Nice size, right? Not huge though. See you later, bud. Got a medium sized rock bass. Maybe a little small. Um, I think I just caught a spinner. I did. <laughs> so I just caught, that's a shame because I just scared the fish, but I just caught somebody else's lure. I don't know, what is that? Like a spoon with a prop on top? I don't think I've ever seen a lure like that. All right, y'all, comment in here. Have you ever seen a lure like that? What is that called? It's like a spinner, but it's got this prop thing at the top. It's kind of interesting. 
pick that up later. Free lure. And let's get back in here. That is a trick chub? Shiner? Fallfish? I think it's a fallfish. Yeah, fallfish. It's pretty big for a fallfish. Oops. All right, well, he's, he's back in the water. <laughs> First small mouth. No! <laughs> I think there's just crick chub down there. Fall fish. That is not a crick chub. That's a small mouth. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yes, this is what we are out here for. I love these fish. I haven't caught many this year because I haven't been fishing much. Beautiful fish. That's my favorite fish in the world. I love you, buddy. All right. See you later, bud. Yeah, let's go. Small jaw. That was weird. There's like a trail back here. I have no idea what trail that is or anything. This spot's going to be these. I'm definitely gonna pull something out of here. Pulling it now. Not my, not the cast I wanted though. Huh. Called it. Small way off. Let's go, small jaw. Love him. Any of the other friends down there? Love that, love that, love that. Starting to get on them now. You can tell when you have a smallie on because it it almost feels like you hooked into a log for like a half a second to a second and then it's just boom the energy all right i remember this from when i was a kid this spot used to be good looks like it is still looks like it's good Oh, no bites. It's crazy. There we go. Our rock bass friends are back. Oh, settle down, buddy. Nice little guy. That's what I remember about this spot. You know, I don't, I don't, it was a while ago since I've been here, but I do remember this spot because the rocks are real unique. I remember there being a lot of rock bass. I guess y'all believe me now, a lot of rock bass. Such an underrated fish, y'all. If y'all haven't been rock bass fishing, you gotta go. You gotta go. Great fish.
Let's go. Large mouth, finally. Guys, I don't know what my camera looks like right now either. So apologies if it looks terrible. These large mouth don't really fight though. Pretty fish though. Hold their back to support them, yeah. So it'll give them little fish tips, little fish handling tips. Ooh. All right, day complete. All right, Joe, I'm gonna wrap up and head out. Um, but it's been a great day of fishing. The Ridley Creek is awesome. There was a ton of bass and I didn't catch a bunch, but there was a lot in here. And the small mouth that I saw were kind of small, but there was a good healthy population. So that's always good to see. And the rock bass were just hitting everything. So hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you like this video, um, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out and subscribe if you wanna see more. See y'all.